A lot of people believe Ohio State's Jackson Smith and Jigba is the best receiver in college football this year. I'm not here to comment on that because it's hard to actually make that point without some type of objective standard that takes into account all of the factors that makes for a receiver. With that said, I did want to take a closer look and see what the hype is about. Jackson is primarily a slot receiver for Ohio State who runs in the higher end of the 4-4 of the 40, closer to a 4-5. He's not the type to wow you with his speed per se, but he will do destructive things to you with his footwork and route running. In the few plays I will show you, you will see what I mean. His ability is the type of thing that is subtle but quite effective. So let's jump into it. In this first play, Ohio State is running 11 personnel, one running back and one tight end, and JSN is in a slot to the right of the line of scrimmage. You're gonna see Jackson run a post route here versus the nickelback in off coverage. The way he starts the route is interesting because if you notice, he runs toward the inside leverage of the DB and intentionally angled toward the middle of the field. He then seamlessly breaks toward the outside leverage of the DB and accelerates past him with ease due to the DB now being caught having to turn his hips and follow up field on his outside him. This is a zone cover, so the DB zone is now scrambled as Jackson then cuts up field on the post and is free in a space behind the middle zone in the top zones of the safeties over the top. This is a well executed route. Now we'll move on to the second play, and this time Ohio State is running 11 personnel again, but JSN is set right to the QB as the running back, and Utah's running another zone defense here as the ball is snapped. JSN comes out of this backfield and runs right up the seam on the right side of the line of scrimmage. He doesn't do anything extravagant here. I just wanted to highlight another way in which the offense uses his skill set. He's a talented player that they would like to get the ball into his hands a bit more, and the thing he did do here that was helpful in getting him open is that when he came out of the back backfield, he didn't run the seam route to the outside leverage of the zone defenders. He instead intentionally angled his running angle against the grain of the movement of the defenders. This forces the zone closest to him, like the previous play, to turn his hips in the other direction and then try to follow up field. By that time, you're too late as Stroud has the ball on the way over your head. We get another look at JSN's footwork here in the third play. Ohio State is once again in 11 personnel, but they are four wide this time. The tight end is lined up wide to the left side of the line of scrimmage, and Jackson Smith and Jigman is in the slot to the right side. It's another zone from Utah, but the nickelback is isolated with Smith, so it's effectively man coverage there, but the DB is playing off by about eight yards. So Jackson uses this to his advantage as he starts this route, which basically is a slant. The first two or three steps are angled inside to the inside leverage of the coverage, but then he takes a longer step to the right, effectively recentering the DB before cutting back inside. In the time that he did this, he closed the coverage by about seven yards, and now he has the inside leverage on the slant while cutting off the path to the ball for the DB. Stroud places it where it needs to be, and it's an easy first down. This last play is a simple one, but a good one. Ohio State is in the same formation as the last play, but this time the tight end motions into the slot before the snap. Utah is also playing man coverage this time. Once again, the nickelback is playing off coverage on Jackson Smith and Jigba. They showed a ton of respect to him this game. And once again, it does not matter. So Njigba attacks the coverage by immediately taking on the outside leverage of the DB, which is a good indication that this might be a deep fade. So Njigba gives a slight hesitation halfway to the DB that causes the defensive back to pause, and unfortunately, that's all Jackson needs. He then does that seamless continuance of his route, accompanied by his acceleration that allows him to take the outside leverage and get a step on the DB. And to the credit of the defender, his coverage wasn't bad, but Jackson gave himself the advantageous positioning now. Of course, it ends with a touchdown. So from what we've seen today, I can already tell that what allows Jackson Smith and Jigger to be so productive is his route running skills and his footwork. It's fun to watch for sure. He won't overcome you with great physical skills such as height and speed, although he isn't necessarily small or slow either. He truly shines with his technical skill and I see why he is praised. Now the question comes back to you. Do you believe this makes him the best wide receiver in college football? Leave your answer in the comment section below and go post this on your favorite Ohio State forums, Reddit threads, and Twitter feeds, whatever you got. And let me know what people are saying. And if you enjoyed this video, check out the video here on the left. It's what the YouTube algorithm suggests you watch from my channel. And if you check the video on the right, it's the last video I made about Alabama's class of 2023 running back recruits. And thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.